I'm gonna take it all back. Take back what's mine. Search for my freedom, cause it seems to be hard to find. I guess I'm gonna say I'm gonna blind and allowing these people die. We got color in television, so color never gonna die. You multiplying and devour with the duck that the devil then try to destruct our lives as American citizens will erupt and rise. And now is y'all's born to be the god in the rhyme and I promise a hell storm. I transform your lyrics and gritty tip of red as the cartridges in my head and the aiming is getting better. You talk and dropping dead and see me out of silhouette over casting the background. I shoot him back at the camera. I swim going bananas. Wolf is from gorillas. Knock me off on the top of my jumping back at the pillar. That's everything worth a dealer. It's just a PD love dead though nuts. I'm trying to catch us on a block and pop some holes and nuts. Nah. Middle finger to the cops. We can let the actual nigga gotta put it to a stop between the finger and the trigger. It's a proper life and death. And a black man's fate is always put to the test. I said a black man's fate is always put to the test. I just have a few questions on the topic of police brutality. Do you know anybody who's been in that experience and in what way? Um, yeah, when I was younger, I would see, I, I saw my brother and his friends get into something and um, his friends got like, like I guess, like stopped by the cops or arrested or whatever. And they was like manhandling like these kids and they were only like 15, 16 years old. About different opinions on what police brutality means, but I just want to share a definition with you. Yeah. I'm going to share two, one with, with about police brutality and one with policing. Policing is the way police are used to keep control over a particular area and to protect people and property. Hmm, protect people. Police brutality is the wanton use of excessive force, usually physically, but also in common in forms of verbal attacks and physical intimidation. Do you feel safer with gangsters or police, and why? Um, I feel like it should be half and half. I mean, like you can't control, you can't control all the gangs, but. I feel like police shouldn't just run all the streets. Like we should have a little bit of freedom. We shouldn't we shouldn't be scared to walk outside no matter what. Like even gangs, like I wouldn't want either side. I would want it should just be half and half, you know, so it wouldn't be like just this way. So that's how I feel. Um, how do you feel about stopping and frisking? In in any way do you think that's related to police brutality? Um, yeah, I think it has something to do with it because some police officers, they just want to stop you because you look like you could be a suspect, but I don't think they have the right to search you if you just mind your own business. You're not, you're not disrupting or like causing chaos in the area if you're just having fun or doing whatever or even mind your own business. So I think sometimes they just do that just to get to you or something. Like, I don't know. Do you, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. I have, I have a brother and a sister. Are you worried for their safety? I'm not really worried for their safety because I think I think they'll be all right. Like, you know, my brother, he's not like a criminal. My sister, she's not a criminal. So, I mean, I don't think they have to worry about any cops as long as they as long as they just do what they say or you cooperate, everything's going to be okay. You don't have to um like rebel. That's how that's how conflict rises. So, you know, I think everybody's good. They're smart. So, they know what to do. I totally agree with you on that. Um, just my last question. If you were the president, mayor, or governor, what would you do to stop police brutality? Um, to stop police, police brutality? Um, I would probably do something weird, like, I don't know, like, have a, they, they don't need, like, authorization to, like, use their gun or something. Like, it would be unlocked, maybe, like, locked in the car or something, or you have to type in a code or, like, type in a situation that you might have to take your gun out. Also, like, make sure that the police are, like, actually keeping up with their training. Because I know they go to um, police academy, and it's like, so I don't ever see them doing none of their, like, what do they learn there? They just go there for just, I don't know, just to, is it school? Like, they're supposed to be trained and know how to, like, attack the situation. Like, they don't, these police out here, they don't know how to, um, you know, really handle handle jobs. As you see, like, as you see videos, news, you know, you've seen, like, cops be killing people, and they, like, like beat them up for no reason. You see cops punching, smacking, pulling hair, verbally abusing. So you know, I mean, I would try to do something to keep it under wraps. Like you know, 
And if and if anybody like, um, if any cop like did something outside their job, then they, I guess they'll get like a big penalty or something. Probably like reduce their paycheck as well, or something like that. So they know not to do it next next time. I totally agree with you on that. I like. I think that's a very good idea that you have. Thank you for your time.